bring Sega back, and this is my tutorial on how to soft mod your PlayStation 2 using GameShark. Uh, I'm using GameShark because it's much easier to find than Action Max Replay and Codebreaker. Alright, so you're going to want to get four items together to start off with. You're going to want, obviously, your GameShark. You're going to want a PlayStation 1 disc. That's going to be your trigger disc. I'm using Grand Theft Auto, and it has to be an original copy. You're going to need your PS2 memory card and a USB flash drive. You can use a burnt CD, but I, I don't know. They take forever to burn, and it's more complicated. So I'm going to be showing you with a flash drive. All right, now I'm going to go to my computer and show you what you need to do and what you need to do. All right, now that you have those four items together, you're going to want to Go to your computer, go to sksapps.com, I'll have a link in my information, and you're going to want to download these two files right here, that's PS2 Save Builder and Independence Compiler. Now open up Independence Compiler, I know it sounds like shit right now, I'm using my headphones as a mic, there's not much I can do about it. Alright, go to title.db and insert your trigger disk into your CD drive, find that and hit get ID from CD and then add to title.db. Loader is basically an interface and um, I usually use Launch Elf. Uh, you can use whatever you like though. Alright, now exploit options is where you add your .elf files. Now elf files are basically executable PlayStation 2 files. They're more or less programs for your PlayStation 2. Um, CogSwap is a big one, CSL. Uh, I use ESR, the ESR beta pack, but um, I'll get into that another time. I already have mine saved in a folder, so I'm going to open that up. I'm going to add that. Then the IP options is if you have your PlayStation 2 on a network. Obviously, I don't pretty sure you don't. Alright, NTSC for American PlayStation 2's and PAL if you have a European PlayStation 2. Alright, I use Key Launcher. It's basically a shortcut. Shortcut screen. Alright, memory card, XPS. You're going to want to save it. And you're going to want to hit Create Exploit. Alright, it's going to save that, and you're going to want to exit out of Independence Compiler, and open up PS2 Save Builder. And then you're going to want to open that file you just saved. Usually it saves in a IS Central folder. And open that up, and then save it. You want to save it to your USB drive. And you also want to save it as your space system configuration. Alright, and you want the extension to be sharkport.md. Now save that. And you can exit out of PS2 Save Builder. Now find your USB drive. And find that file and rename the extension to .ps2. Now your PS2 can read it and you're good. Alright, now take your USB drive out of your computer and I'll show you what to do from your PlayStation 2. Okay, now you want to go over to your PS2, put that memory card in there, turn it on, and slip in your Game Shark. As you can hear, uh, I have a CD tray from hell. I really don't know what's wrong with it. And uh, just wait for Game Shark to load. Mine, uh, mine takes quite some time. Alright, let me uh, spare you the waiting. Okay, 
Now that your uh, Game Shark is taking its time to boot up, you want to take your flash drive, insert it in your PlayStation 2, and then you want to go to your Game Shark and go to Memory Manager and Game Phase. It's going to ask you if you want to read game saves from your CD-ROM. Click No. All right, now, uh, as you can see, configuration is already saved on your memory card. Um, it's on there from the get-go. So just go over to Source, which is your USB drive, and find your system configuration.ps2. Select that. Hit O and hit Copy to Target. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the file. You do want to overwrite it. And it's going to save on there. It's going to take a little while, depending on uh, how big your exploit is. Sorry for the waiting again. Alright. Alright, now it's saved on the memory card. Go ahead and turn your PlayStation 2 off. Alright. Now you can take your USB drive out. You're safe. Turn it back on. Take your uh, Game Shark out. And put your trigger disc in. Now, uh, you can't really boot up your PS2 with your trigger disc already in it or the game itself will just load. Alright, so go to your browser. Sorry about that, uh, my camera conveniently died on me. But, like I said, you want to put your trigger disk in and boot it from the browser. And that's basically it. Once you boot it from the browser, you'll have your launch health and you can uh, launch any of the L files you added from right here. And that's it. Uh, keep in mind, you always want to have your trigger disk in when you boot it. Um, everything else, I'll have tutorials on, uh, McBoot, uh, cock swapping, but for now, that's it.